Okay, uh, greetings to every one of you. Greetings. Um, uh, wherever you're watching from, uh, connecting from, uh, I just want to share something brief. Uh, I do hope you're all doing well. I do hope um, you're handling the issues of life well. Uh, I just want to share about the the storms of life, which is familiar to everyone of us. As you move around, you get phone calls, you get calls, you hear people complain of the storms of life. In other words, the challenges of life, and why some might think that they are the only one going through the storms of life but that is not real that is not true the the reality of life is that everyone that is breathing is going through one challenges or the other even those you think are so worthy the the more the wet the higher the challenges of life. And so this is for somebody who thinks all is not well, who thinks that you're going through the toughest time of your life. It is called life. We all go through it in different forms, in different shape. To some of us, our challenges are marriages. There's Storms in our marriages. To some of us is our children. To some of us is is a place of work. No wonder the Bible rightly say that sufficient of the days is evil thereof. There are a lot of challenges. No matter what you are going through. I want to speak to you specifically. You are not alone. It may appear that you are alone. It may appear that the challenges are so much. Trust me, you are not alone. Every one of us are going through us. However, what differentiates one person from another is the way we handle our challenges. There is something you have started and is 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 not working and you quit. That's a challenge. You have a business, the business is, is not making a profit. That's a challenge. You're married and your and the marriage is having issues. That's a challenge. But the question is, how are you going to handle that challenge? That storm you are experiencing. How are you going to handle it? Will you call it a quit? Will you give give up on life? Will you give up on that marriage, that relationship, that child, that ministry, that destiny, that life? That's a question you have to answer yourself. But the truth about the storms and the challenges of life is that they don't last forever. So a little patience a little long suffering, a little endurance, it will pass away like the waves of the sea. So don't give up. I know it's not easy, but don't give up. Just so stay where you are. Just so stay there. Just keep going. Keep going. The storm will pass. The challenges will pass. That difficult times you are experiencing, financial challenges, it will it will last forever. Nothing, it, no storm is created to last forever. Be patient. Don't drop off the boat. It's dangerous outside the boat. Stay in the boat. Be patient. I know this is not for everybody, but this is for that fellow who is saying, "Ah, life is hard." 
Life is difficult. Not seems to be working. I'm saying be patient. Don't give up. There will soon be a turnaround. And a turnaround comes in different form. It may come with an old friend stepping back into your life. Turnaround may come with a colleagues in school who just remember you and give you a contact. A, a turnaround can just come in form of a recommendation. The ways of God are awesome. It can cause somebody that you've never spoke to for years to remember you. But if you give up now, you will miss that turnaround. So be patient. Hold on. It will soon turn around. The storm will, still, will soon come to an end. That challenge will still, still be a solution to that challenge. Don't give up. All shall be well. God bless you. Jesus' name.